I'm preparing birthday foods today, and I'm gonna get Bobby in here in the kitchen to help me. What Bobby doesn't know, though, is the surprise is for him. I'm cooking up delicious golden mini phyllo cups filled with a creamy shrimp salad. And then one of my boys' all-time favorite recipes. It's a hearty and spicy goulash. And of course you can't have a birthday without a cake. So I'm gonna be making the most scrumptious caramel cake with the sweetest frosting you ever put in your mouth. So get ready to blow out the candles, y'all, cause it's Bobby's birthday. Ooh, that looks good. Doesn't it look good? Mm -hmm. Listen, I want you to help me. Okay. Do you mind getting in here in the kitchen and not at all? I'd working love to. with me today. I'd love to work with you. Do you? Uh -huh. Okay, great. I'm I'm making some wonderful little phyllo cups that I'm gonna fill with shrimp salad. Nice. Yes. I love them. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Well, I've almost got all my shrimp diced. Why don't you finish those up? Okay, be glad to. How did so, it end up where it's just you and me in the kitchen? This is very, very nice. I know, isn't this wonderful? Mm -hmm. How do you like my barbells? I love them. I saw like that as a, yeah, yeah, the Pauline workout. <laughs> this is, you're gonna love it, y'all. What let, are those? Let me tell you about these, Bobby. It mashes. It's, you're using these for what, to press the to cups press out? To press the phyllo dough. All right, when you finish that, Bobby, if you would, son, I've got the celery already diced. But I love the leaves in it. I know you, you do. You know, a lot of flavor is in these. Plus, you got the pretty green from it. Mm -hmm. So if you would just dice up the leaves. Okay, I can do that. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna take a stick of butter. No, you're not. <laughs> Are you really? Yes, I really Only am. one? <laughs> just one. And I'm gonna toss in some garlic, some fresh minced garlic, about a tablespoon or two. All right, now, Bobby, we're just going to kind of let that butter melt and kind of just get that flavor from that garlic blooming through that butter. It smells good and already. And I'm going to take each phyllo sheet and I'm going to brush it with that garlic butter. Phyllo dough you have to be very, very careful with because it'll dry out on you in just a matter of seconds because it's so thin. So, actually, we need to cover this with, with a moist rag. Brush, brush, brush. So yeah, I just felt like getting in here and making some kind of party yeah, this, food I was gonna today. say, this is like, you and I are the only ones here, but it's like you're having a party. Are you having a party? No, I'm not having a party. Am I having a party? No, you're not having a party. All, All right. right, well, I'm done. No, you're not done. You've got to um, Mix the rest of your ingredients together. Okay. Now I'm gonna dice up your parsley real quick for you. Now Celery, you've got onions. Uh huh. You've got about a tablespoon of green onions, about a half a cup of celery. Do you want me to go ahead and mix these ingredients together? Uh no, we, we're gonna mix our wet first. But you can go ahead and add all this. By our wet, you mean our mayonnaise? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So what you want me to do? I want you to add the celery and the onions, and then I want you to squeeze about a tablespoon and a half of fresh lemon juice in it, and just measure out a half a cup of mayonnaise. Well, the, This is a half a cup I'll measure. Start, I'll start with a little bit Some because salt you- salt and pepper. You always taught me that you can, you can always yeah, add. Yeah, but you know what? A half a cup should work out perfect. All right, now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna get my phyllo dough. And I'm gonna cut this into four by threes and I've used three sheets of phyllo dough, and these should fit just about perfect in our cups. All right, I've got some Parmesan cheese here. I know you like Parmesan cheese. I so do. I'm gonna sprinkle like a this. little bit of that on it. Good, so am I adding the mayonnaise to, uh, to the shrimp or to the Yeah, to, to the this, celery? to this, and add your salt and pepper and then just mix them together and you can put it over to the side while I finish up our cups. Now how long, once just we get this like in the that. oven, how long is this gonna take? These are pretty quick. Well, the shrimp salad's already done. Yeah, I'm gonna bake these at 350 for like maybe 10 minutes. So there we go. 
I love phyllo dough. All right, now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little fresh parsley. All right, so here we go. Just mix that up, son. Now, I need about a tablespoon and a half of fresh lemon juice in there, please. And that lemon juice is just gonna give it a nice citrusy taste. And let's go ahead and get our little cups in the oven, and that's 350, y'all, for about 10 minutes. There we go. And you can make your little phyllo cups ahead of time. And then just pull them out. You just want to keep them in an airtight container. Mm. And then just pull them out at the last minute and stuff them with whatever you want to stuff in them with. In this case, it's going to be shrimp salad. Is it great? Mm. Gosh, it's perfect, is it? Bobby. It is out of this world, son. You did a great job Thank with you, it. Mama. Thank you, Mama. The lemon juice was just fabulous. Well, listen, we're going to take a quick break, Bobby while our phyllo cups are cooking. Okay. And when we come back, I'm gonna be preparing Bobby's all-time favorite dish. It's Bobby's goulash. In fact, you girls out there, if you wanna win Bobby's heart over, get this recipe. And later, the perfect caramel birthday cake. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. All right, Mom. I think your phyllo is perfect. Oh, great. It is hot, though, isn't it? It is hot. They look perfect. Great. All right, so we'll let that cool a little bit and then add the shrimp salad to it in a few minutes. That's great, yes. Oh, let this is my cool. favorite. Now, how do you know what I'm making? Are you, because I'm hey, sitting here looking at it. Are you kidding? So you think you can figure it out. I see, I see the black Dutch oven. I see the ground beef. I see, see the, the onions, onions, the tomato sauce. I see the elbow macaroni. It's not very often that I get to come to your house and help you make goulash. Goulash. My goulash. Which, you know what, Mom? Favorite. I, ne I never have favorite. been able to reproduce this. Well, son, I don't know why. You know what I think makes the difference? What? I don't have a Dutch oven. Well, son, I'm just I using got... a regular stainless steel pot. No, you I'll got that's part of it. I got Dutch ovens out there in the garage. I've always got plenty of cast iron sitting one. around. Before you leave today, I'll get one. Uh, we'll go out to the garage and get you a cast iron pot. Now I'm gonna add two pounds of lean ground beef and turkey. Uh huh. And a pound of turkey. Is this why you've like... always made it? Yeah, but you know what? To me, I've always made my goulash just by tasting. So let's come back down here while that's browning, Bobby. Oh yeah, it's cool enough. I'm gonna take these out. Look at these beautiful little cups, y'all. They look great. They're so delicate and so light. They look great. And the shrimp salad is outstanding. I'm telling you, that shrimp salad is as good as any I've ever tasted. Is it tasted. just like this? Is this all you're doing? Yeah. Look how simple these are. I could do this at my house. Sure you could do it. And you would just have people begging If I was having more. a party. Yeah. Or something. Why don't you have a party one day? Well, since you're not having a party here, I might take all this food with me to my house and have a party. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way, son. <laughs> oh, it don't? No. Now, we don't want to put those in the refrigerator because it would really mess up our, our phyllo cups. So we'll just leave those sitting out because we're going to be digging in them shortly. All right, now in the meantime, over here, I got our ground beef and our turkey going. It's browning away nicely. Smelling good. Now, if you want to, at this point, you can drain off some of your fat. But I have to say, most of the time, I don't. <laughs> Is that why it tastes so good? Yes, yes. Because see, I think my, one of the mistakes I'm making is when I brown my ground beef and onions together, I drain it. I put it into a colander and drain it completely. No, see, I, I don't do that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take our diced onion and throw that in the pot along with about three cloves of diced fresh garlic. All right, so we're just gonna stir this up. And now if you'll grab that tablespoon, Bobby, right. please and toss in a tablespoon of house seasoning. Uh -huh. 
and I'll just stir it up for you. Mm -hmm. So the house seasoning is, this is a little salt, pepper, and a little garlic powder, right? That's yeah. It. All right, now our seasoning salt, about a tablespoon of that. Okay, okay. one tablespoon. Okay, now that's Italian seasoning, mm -hmm. and you might want to just take, pop that top off. One and I'm going to need well. two tablespoons. Now I'm going to need about two tablespoons of that, and fit, make sure you get a full tablespoon because that Italian seasoning is really going to give this a big kick. There we go. You got it. Two full right. tablespoons. How about three bay leaves? Okay. So. Uh huh. And those are off my tree out there. Are they? Yeah. All right, now we need about three tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay. Have you always used soy sauce in goulash? Mm -hmm. Or either Worcestershire, either one. Never use You've either never one. Never used no, it. No wonder mine's not good. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use one 29 ounce can of tomato sauce. Okay. You ready for it? Yeah. I've okay. been doing it wrong all along. Well, now, I formulated this and gave it to you so you wouldn't have that problem. Okay, now we got two 15-ounce cans of diced tomatoes. Right. Do you want me to stop? Uh-huh, yeah, no, I was just putting the spoon there so it wouldn't splatter on us. Yeah. All right, uh, we're gonna cook our macaroni noodles in this, so I need three cups of water. I am getting the best lesson today. And we're gonna let this simmer for about 20 or 25 minutes. Okay. And then we're gonna come back and add our elbow noodles. Okay. 20 minutes here, and then how long yeah, after we put Yeah, another 20 in? minutes. So about 40 or 45 minutes, yes, Mine you can. takes all day. But. <laughs> and it's not good. Let's take a quick break, get cleaned up, and when we come back, you know what you're making next? No. Coming up, y'all, it's Bobby's Caramel Cake. We'll see y'all back in a minute. <laughs> mm. I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Well, Mama, the goulash is smelling and looking real, real good. I think it's time oh, to add good. the noodles. It smells wonderful. All right, Bobby, pour in about two cups. Now, you've got like a three cup jar right there. three cups in here, so I'm gonna leave yeah, so one in. so just leave one cup. All right, now in this bowl, y'all, I've gotten Bobby's cake started. And this particular cake, Bobby, is called a one, two, three, four cake. So Bobby, you can step on over I get to here, help you? son. Yeah. Okay. You use a cup of butter, two cups of sugar, three cups of flour, and four, four eggs. eggs. So there Pretty you basic. got it, your one, two, three, four cake. Let's get started. Okay. All right, now in there, I've got the butter and the sugar. Now we're just gonna add one egg at the time, and we wanna kinda beat it pretty well after we add each egg. Mm -hmm. I'm playing hooky from work, and I'm baking cakes. It's not a bad life, It's not a bad it? life at all. All right, all right there's our there's fourth egg. There's the last egg. All right, now I'm gonna get on this side of you, and I'm gonna alternately add a pre-sifted flour. Okay. Self-rising? Now this, yes, this is a self-rising flour, so we don't need to add any leavenings to it. We're gonna alternate our flour with a cup of milk. And it's very important that you start with flour and end with flour. Okay. It just makes it creamier, and it, it, you can see how this almost looks like it's breaking a little. Well, if you add your flour last, it won't have that look. It'll have a creamy look to it. Okay, so you can All right. keep your mixer to going. All right, a little flour. Little milk. And you just keep that bowl of turning, son. And I'll come in there with a the spatula and just kind of keep it down the sides for you. Right after Michael and I started dating, I made this caramel cake, and like I said, we hadn't been seeing each other long. And somebody asked him one day, you know, when did you know that Paula was the one? And he said, the morning I walked in the house 
and that caramel cake was sitting there on that counter. He said, I knew that that was the girl for me. He was in love, huh? Oh, he was in <laughs> love, honey. So this recipe kind of sealed the deal. Okay. So this is gonna be a layer cake, right? Yes, this is gonna be a layer cake. All right. So I'm gonna slowly add the rest of our milk. There you go. You're doing great, Got son. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's we're ready now to put in the last of our flour. There you go. Just mix that up. And I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. I think every cake's got vanilla flavoring in it, hasn't it? Yeah, but you know, it depends. If I was making a coconut cake, then no I'd vanilla? use coconut. I'd use coconut flavoring. Cut up your mixer, son, just a little, little bit and give it just a <laughs> Cut it up a little bit all the way to high. <laughs> yeah, a few good mixes. All right, now while you're while you're doing that, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna talk a little bit about our filling. This is my mother's filling that I could just never get quite right. I worked on her caramel icing and worked on it, and I could not get it to do right. So I said, I do want to use Mama's recipe. Well, I found out it made the perfect filling. I've got two sticks of butter. I think this is done, Mama. Two yeah, I think it is. Two cups of light brown sugar and a fourth of a cup of milk. And I'm gonna cook this for about five to eight minutes. While I'm doing that, why don't you bring your bowl of batter over here. Okay. So just come down here and let's just make three layers today. And it's important that you do it evenly because mm -hmm. when you cut your cake, you want all your layers to have the same thickness. <laughs> you do want them all to right, be perfect. So here, you want me to... Yeah, I'm gonna need some help. You want me to scrape some of that batter in there for you. I think the first one's gonna be a little the light. The first one's gonna be a little light. Here we go, got it. There you go. So just kind of spread that out, son, in your cake plates and then take it, take each pan and kind of bang it on the counter. Okay. And that will release the air bubbles. Okay. Just kind of. Uh -huh. Just let it drop. Just take them and let them drop, just like that. And this is coming along nicely. Coming up, Bobby and I are gonna top off this cake with a sweet caramel frosting. So in the oven, yep. son, 350, 25 minutes for our cake layers. We'll see y'all back in just a second. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. All right, Bobby, we're about to get everything pulled together. It's looking good, huh? It is looking good. All right, now I've got Mama's recipe for filling that I never could get right. Now you're making the frosting. I've got a cup of dark brown sugar. Now it's important that you use a dark brown sugar. A stick of butter that I've melted on top of the stove. And Bobby's gonna add one box of powdered sugar. Just beat that and your frosting is ready. Now some people like to use toothpicks to put holes in their cakes. But I tell y'all what, I found that a toothpick just didn't make a big enough hole for me. Now I'm just gonna pour this onto my cake and you can see how it's running down in those holes. Now when you're stacking your cakes together, if sometimes you have a cake that's not quite level, um, like this side is shorter over here, so I'm gonna look at my cake layer and I'm gonna look for the thicker side on this one and put it right there so see we have a nice level cake. So we're doing the same thing with the next layer and we got one more layer to go. All right, so on goes the last layer. We've got more filling going on. Oh, you can see those holes where that Filling has gone in down there, Bobby. This frosting will work every time for you, Bobby. And That's I beautiful. start by dropping some frosting on top of the cake and then I bring it down. 
That looks beautiful. Mm-hmm. Okay, Bobby. While I'm getting this last little corner, you want to get us a couple of bowls out? Oh, for the goulash? For, yes, for our goulash. Because it's about time for us to taste. And I'm going to stick just a few pecan halves around like that, because I just love pecans on my caramel icing. It kind of reminds me of like a, a praline. Okay, I'm all ready. Well, they say timing is everything. Look at your cake. Is that for me, for my birthday? Happy birthday, son. Oh, yes. Mom, I love you so much. How wait, wait, that, wait, wait. How is this my <laughs> trick? I Did I just make my own cake? Yes, you just made your own cake. Isn't that beautiful it looking? It is beautiful. The whole time, this was a party for me. Yes. Mmm, mmm. That's my mama's goulash right oh. there. All right. Look how beautiful. Here we go. Okay. Happy birthday to me. Your wish is gonna come true, son. Awesome. Look. Mmm. So beautiful. Happy birthday to me. Until next time, <laughs> you know that Bobby and I send y'all best dishes and love from our birthday kitchen to yours. Happy birthday, y'all. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>